Essays on Untouchables and Untouchability So Show by Baba Sahib Ambedkar Chapter 4, Part 4 After the Shudra was reduced, came the turn of the Shat- Vaishya. The bitterest class war took place between the Brahmin and the Kshatriya. The classical literature of the Hindus abounds in the reference to class wars between these two Varnas. First was the conflict between the Brahmas and King Vena. There was formerly a Prajapati, lord of creatures, a protector of righteousness called Anga of the race of Atri and resembling him in power. His son was the Prajapati Vena, who was but indifferently skilled in duty and was born of Sunitha, the daughter of Mritya. This son of the daughter of Kal, which is death, owing to the taint derived from his maternal grandfather, threw his duties behind his back and lived in covetousness under the influence of desire. This king established an irreligious system of conduct transgressing the ordinances of the Veda, he was devoted to lawlessness. In his reign, reign, men lived without the study of the sacred books and without the Vashatkara, and the gods had no soma libations to drink at sacrifices. I, he declared, am the object and performer of sacrifice, and the sacrifice itself. It is to me that sacrifice should be presented and oblations offered. This transgressor of the rules of duty, who arrogated to himself what was not his due, was then addressed by all the great rishis, headed by Marichi. We are about to consecrate ourselves for a ceremony which shall last for many years, practiced not unrighteousness, O Vena. This is not the eternal rule of duty. Thou art in very deed a prajapati of Atpuri's race, and thou hast engaged to protect thy subjects. The foolish Vena, ignorant of what was right, laughingly answered, some those great rishis who had so addressed him, who but myself is the ordainer of duty, or who ought I to obey? Who on earth equals me in sacred knowledge and prowess, and I am the source of all beings and duties, in austere fervor, in truth? Yet who are deluded and senseless know that I am the source. Hesitate not to believe that I, if I will, could burn up the earth, or deluge it with water, or close up heaven and earth. And owing to his delusion and arrogance, Vena could not be governed, and the mighty rishis became incensed, seized in vigorous and struggling king, and rubbed his left thigh. From this thigh, so rubbed, was produced a black man, very short in stature, who, being alarmed, stood with joined hands. Seeing that he was agitated, Atri said to him, Sit down, Nishida. He became the founder of the race of the Nishidas, and also progenitor of the Dhivaras, fishermen, who sprang from the corruption of Vena. So, so too were produced from him the other inhabitants of the Vindhya range, the Tukharas and Tumbhuras, who were prone to lawlessness. Then the mighty sages, excited and incensed, again rubbed the right hand of Vena, as men do the Arani wood, and from it rose Pritha, despondent in body, glowing like the manifested Agni. The end.